Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight, Jeff. Shovel Knight, Drew. Gosh, this music's got me ready to go. Yeah, this is some action-packed music. Uh, this is Shovel Knight, uh, which is uh, out. I guess uh, today it's coming to Wii U, 3DS, uh, and Steam. That's an interesting package. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's one of those uh, nostalgia packages that makes a lot of sense when you see the more of the game you see, you're like, oh, of course this is on the the, the Nintendo platforms. Okay. All right, uh, my cloud save. You know this. this Pre-release build here. This is just, this, so it errors out. We're just gonna go to done. I'm not gonna register a name because who am I to tell the shovel knight what his name is? It's S. Dot Knight. S. Knight. S. Dot Carter. Uh, okay, so let's shovel knight. Okay. I'm already seeing what you mean by Nintendo stuff. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, this is this is this is the game they're making. You know. Yep. It's pretty apparent right off the bat that they are they're making this, and then it becomes a question of like. How dedicated are they to this, and what level of quality they're going for? And right. The answer are very dedicated, and pretty high quality. Great. Uh, it is. Uh, I've, I've played a, a, like the first three levels or so. Okay. This uh, art is already yeah fantastic and, and just great music. Um, you know, it's it's. I think a lot of people are getting very tired of the the retro aesthetic and pixel art and stuff. Yes. Or, or some you know some people definitely out there are, but I, this is of a quality that I think bucks that trend. Uh, that, that definitely. You know, the people that, that kind of slag that style off as being lazy or, or whatever, like, sure. they, they should look at this, because this is, this is, they go beyond. They, good good gameplay can overcome any style. Sure. Uh, I think it's, it's a it's a very nice looking game. And I just got a text from one Patrick Kle Klepik that says, that game is so good. <laughs> Great. I think, he, I think he's finished it. Uh, okay. I have not finished it. Uh, what is the structure like? Are we talking just like one level, after another. So here at the beginning of the game, I think we're just going to be thrown right into the first level. Okay. Um, but, you know, there is a town, there is an overworld, uh, you know. Okay, so we're the Shovel Knight. Uh, this is a two button game. I can hit with my shovel, I can jump. Uh, then I have, like, you know, sub screen stuff, uh, relics and gear. I have got my shovel blade, mm -hmm. I've got my stalwart plate. Okay. We're ready to go. So, two buttons jump, attack. If I jump in the air and push down, I do a little downward attack, which okay. is not entirely unlike uh, the Scrooge McDuck Pogo. Do you bounce off dudes? You bounce off dudes, mm. but you do not bounce off the ground. Okay. All right. What do we find? Pile of dirt. Good thing I got a shovel. Shovel that thing. There's hella money in this pile. Ooh. I'm going to shovel that thing. Shovel that beetle. Okay. This block, screw that block. Dead. Diamonds in there, too. Gems. Oh, no, I gotta get paid. Oh. All right, so gold is your... Yeah. So what's I'm, that? What's I'm, that? What's that? Oh, uh, that, was, that was just health, I think. Oh, okay. Just, or, uh, or refills my items. So items uh, work uh, sort of like Castlevania. I don't have any items yet, uh, but if you up an attack, uh, you use it, and it uses some of your magic. See, I have 30 magic there. Got it. Ugh. Die. How does it, it feel? feels good. Okay. Uh, the control's great. I'm, I'm using a, a 360 pad here, but, you know, it's, it's gamepad support. So you kind of get your, your like shades of Mega Man, but you know that's that's not the only thing they're going to for inspiration. Uh, you know, it's kind of an, an amalgamation of concepts that you know worked really well through the 8-bit era. Mm-hmm. You get. Uh, Gosh, it's pretty. This is a checkpoint. If I wanted to, I could actually break that checkpoint for treasure, but then it wouldn't be a checkpoint anymore. Huh. Oh, screw that up. Mm. That's a bummer. Where do you land on uh, strictly adhering to the, you know, color processing power of the platform, whereas you I may think also it, want to show what you remember rather than what was there? I think it's a, it's a neat trick if you can say, like, hey, we're, we're totally, like, you know, if you can come away from it saying, like, hey, this game would run on an NES. I think that's, that's a cool idea. Yeah. Uh, but ultimately, kind of whatever serves the game. Uh, best, I think is fine. Like, you know, this game is widescreen. Right. I think that's great. Yeah. And it's it's evoking the the, yeah. uh, the style. Very well.
So this is uh, strictly a, you're here at this level, get to the end of this level? Uh, you know? that, that is currently how it is. It okay. is not always like that. You, know, okay. you get this first level and then it'll open up a little bit uh, once we, we get through this first area. I don't know if the skulls do anything bad if I let them lay around too long, mm. but so I just break them all anyway, just in case. Yeah. Uh, so I got a little music thing that's a little uh, bonus collectible item uh, that we'll be able to turn in when we get to town. Town, a eh? Town. Would that be perhaps where you spend gold? Yeah, you can spend some gold. Uh, are there, like, secrets or anything? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm definitely, like, kind of breaking walls and finding secret areas and stuff mm. like that. Like, yeah, there, there's there's stuff. Like, you know, this one is cl pretty clearly labeled here, that sure. little uh -huh. mark Ooh, there. Ooh, all right. But, uh, but, yeah. I love secrets, Jeff. I wish there were more secrets in games yeah, these days. Yeah, yeah. Even the games that have secrets, they're selling strategy guides, and yeah. all the secrets are all over the internet day one. And... Oh, I need to stop bouncing on that. Okay. Oh, man. There we go. Uh, is there a lot of homage kind of stuff in there? Um, I mean, like that. Yeah, I think there's stuff that's like extremely evocative of specific games, but sure. it, it's not necessarily, I haven't necessarily seen stuff where it's like, oh, they're doing that just like that. Right. Uh, for not... the sake of evoking a game. Right. It's not super jokey or anything. Uh... I mean, it's got a bit of a sense of humor, but not necessarily in a referential way. Okay, that's that's good to see. I feel like when you uh, you tug at the nostalgia strings, you can sometimes tug too hard. Yep. And it just gets painful. Yeah, that's that starts to hurt after a while. Yeah, especially like. But this is sort of a secret area. I mean, it was it okay. was it was yeah. marked there as a breakable wall, but it, you know, it's not definitely an optional thing. I like that the enemies don't load in until your whole level is loaded. Yep. Yeah, I like the the scrolling. I, the way these ladders work is, is very Mega Man-ish in terms of just like how you can grab onto them and jump them, yeah. and, and get going. Like, the, you know. Oh, that's right, there's another little secret. There's an unmarked secret right there. Ooh. Uh, is uh, food life? Yeah. Food is life, Jeff. Yeah, food is life. I like that very ominous boss meter in the upper right. Yeah, just like, hey, just to let you know, just to remind you. Sort of game that just looks like a pleasure to play. Uh, yeah, I, I think the, the control is, is really tight. It, it just feels good. The character movement and just the the bounces I'm getting here on, you know, bouncing off that guy. It's just, yeah, it's a lot I of like fun. It's, you know, it's not one of the super hard games. It's really pretty, you know, it's the very sort of... Uh, yeah, I mean, they, they've got like, uh, so nice. they have a, a, a feats and stuff that are like, hey, if you can do all this stuff, you know, they're, they've got little wow. achievements in there for people to want to do crazy business, but it, it doesn't necessarily require that, you know? You are getting maximum gems. Yeah, I want to, I want to buy stuff. Oh, sneaky slimes. Be careful, bot jumps. Aha. Is that a uh, space to dirt, the right dirt, or to dirt, the left? Dirt, dirt, dirt. Uh, to here you Down mean? to the left, yeah. No, 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 no. I, already, I already busted that open. Okay. So. No secrets in secrets? Oh, you never know. But clearly I could go this way. Hmm.
All right. Do you think uh, games forgot that you could just be... Oh, man. Uh, that you could just be content with the way it plays and feels and looks? Uh, no, I think that there's, there's, you know, there are certainly games that get a little mechanic focused and, and just the pleasure of engaging with those mechanics is kind of the, your, your primary goal. I mean, you know, they, they certainly wrap story and all this other stuff around it. Sure. You know, more and more and, and all that. But, you know, like you look at stuff like, like, you know, take something like Vanquish or something where it's just like... Mm. You know, once you get really fantastic at, at employing those mechanics, like, it's just fun to just do it. Yeah. Small boss is always scary. Yeah. It's like when they give you a, uh, an open note test. Right. Doesn't seem like it should be hard, but then, oh man. Although he is the first boss, so... Yeah, yeah, th th this fight's not super difficult. It's uh, the the first few boss fights that I've that I've played in this game are, are not not that tough. And... Oh, uh, yeah, well. he also has a shovel. Not anymore. He doesn't. Look at that gold. Yeah. Nah, just let him get away, I guess. Whatever. Yeah. I mean, what? That's nice. What was he doing, anyway? Like, why was he so bad? What? Just dressed in black armor? Or like. Uh, so you, the Shield Knight here has uh, disappeared, and we have to get to the Tower of Fate. The Shovel Knight's been kind of out of action for a while, and the world has changed around him. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up! Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Yep. Oh, sweet. So, uh, once it becomes Mario 3 here, <laughs> uh, uh -huh. you'll actually get enemies that will populate some of these squares, like this middle area here. Uh, you know, so you can just kind of go get into encounters and stuff if you have to get from place to place, which I, I thought was kind of a cool thing. Let's go to the village. Like a hammer, bro. And you get your little bionic commando thing here where it's like, hey, no weapons in here. Well, uh, maybe that's just me being reminded of bionic commando because, you know, as soon as you swing your thing, it's, you don't get attacked. Hmm. Uh, so here's the bard. We can uh, give him are the music sheets that we collect and get uh, paid for that. And he's got a little something like, oh yeah, you found this thing. Yeah, he's got a little something to say about the, ma the music. So we can actually, anything we find, we can have him play here in town. You know. It's quite a loot. Some MIDI loot. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Extend magic or health. Ooh. Why not buy my meal ticket and help narrow my options? We are going to buy this meal ticket. What's uh, a meal ticket? With a meal ticket, we can go up here to the health extending guy and give him a meal ticket, and he will prepare something for us. Uh, that brings our health up to five. So Ooh, it raises our maximum health. I don't know, is it a big steak or something? Meatloaf? So you can buy meal tickets from this guy. The next one is 4,500. I imagine you could probably find meal tickets out in the world as well. Hmm. But it's probably one of those things where, you know, if you want to get them all, you got to buy them all and find them all and all that sort of sure. stuff. We can also extend our uh, magic beyond 30 uh, by paying her. Uh, but we'll hold off on that for now. <laughs> I like the wiggly text. Yeah. King Knight. The number of dig piles I've dug is seven. That's the amount of gold I've collected. Number of times I've fallen in battle. Uh. 
in here's a little mini game that you can get, hit stuff. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. Okay. It's all right. Just practice your shoveling. Yeah. Okay. Is that a frog person? That's a frog guy. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, let's buy a uh, a chalice to store this mythical icor. And then Chester, who's the the shop dude, uh, fishing rod and chaos sphere. This sounds like things we would want. Certainly the chaos sphere. Yeah. Do you only get the uh, the explanation of what it is after you buy it? It seems like it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I don't have enough for the fishing rod because I rushed through that first stage and didn't just collect everything and, and hit get everything like I did the first time I played it, which is unfortunate. Huh. Uh, you can fish. Sometimes you will come across uh, pits in the environment that have sparkles coming out of them, and that is indicates that you can fish there. Do fish, uh, do they perhaps eat gems, Jeff? Um, is that what you get from them, or? Uh, I, I, one time I got health, and you know, it, it oh. seems like it's. Okay, I think we gotta. How do we do this? There's a way- oh, there we go, I can stand on her back. That's how I get up here. Goodness. And a note. So now actually I have enough for the fishing rod. I'm gonna go back and get it. This guy's moving around all crazy. Yes, I really am Shovel Knight, it's true. Okay, we'll get this fishing rod and hit the road. So, now I've got, you know, items up here. Sure. Including Chaos Sphere. That looks pretty great. Yeah, it'll do some damage. Uh, do you find it obnoxious to have to run around to everyone? Um, I mean, it's okay. And they're all pretty concentrated there. Yeah, it's not, it's not, this village is not that big. There's a feat if you can stay bouncing on that for <laughs> enough time. Yeah, uh, I, I would agree. You ready to see? You ready for a show? Um. It's ah. pronounced Icor. Okay. Fill all health and magic, invincible for 10 seconds, absorb nearby treasure for 60 seconds. I'm gonna go with refill all health and magic. Yeah. All right, lean back and enjoy the ceremony. Can't do anything here? Nope. <laughs> That's great. I mean, maybe I could hit buttons to skip it, but why the fuck would I do that? No. I like this game. Yeah. It's got moxie. Uh huh. It looks great. <laughs> uh, it, it plays really great. well. It's, uh, yeah, it, it's an enjoyable game. After we're done here, we'll, we'll get into the next level and Is fight for a while. But Fish half. Cherry? Um, I don't really want to think about that. Okay. I'm not really interested in thinking about that. Okay. That was delightful. Yeah. And that's that whole level. That is, yeah, yeah. Just go see him when you want stuff. So oh, at okay. this point, I can go uh, to the lair of the Spectre Knight, or I can go to the lair of the King Knight. I was thinking the King Knight. Sure. That ready, is that Mega Man as well? Uh, I mean, Mega Man kind of beams down, you know? Right, but that like... Oh, with the blinking ready? Yeah. yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Oh, 
Alright. You. Ah. Ah. Got careless. Paid the price. Uh, see so that that hole right there is sparkling. Yeah. Let me get this out of the way. Well, let's do some fishing. That fish was worth 350 gold. Wow. Well, it was a big one. I mean, I... Yeah, it was, it was a pretty big fish. Uh, did it cost magic to use that? It did, yeah. Sure. But magic's not that hard. You know, you, you, it, it drops from a lot of stuff, yeah. so it's not... Some stuff, like, you know, it, since it's open here, you almost think, like, I should be able to run to the left, but you can't. And I think that, yeah. that it's a little confusing sometimes that, that they don't have all these areas walled in. I mean, that was that was a problem back in the day, too. Sure. But you would expect that, you know, I don't know. Nice. I let him feel some of the chaos. That guy had money in his helmet. That's where I keep it. Uh, how much do you play of this? I, I finished this level, and that's where I stopped. This, uh, the King Knight? I, I beat the King Knight. Okay. I was wondering, um... Like, how much there is? Well, just, uh, how much it changes over time, you know? Right, right. How much do they int introduce new things, new enemies? Uh, I imagine you get a lot more items. Yeah, different you know, stuff. you got room for stuff. Yeah. And then, you know, obviously you'll get gear at some point, too. Though this would be, this is health upgrades, this is magic upgrades, so it's kind of... You know, you'll, you'll probably just get better blade, better armor, maybe? I don't okay. know. Oops, damn it. Oh. All right, well, I'm not, I would... Uh, just imagine I bounced on that guy and got up there and got that diamond. You know, we're, we're, we're playing, so I'll just keep going. <laughs> I'll imagine that. Nice. Ha. It's <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. Chester. What? Oh, you knucklehead. He wants to sell me the flare wand. We're gonna buy the flare that sounds wand. Sounds pretty rad. Yeah. Chester kind of looks like uh, a medieval timesman dressing up as a firm gym. Yeah. All right. Sure. Oops. I really screwed that up. Anyway, here's the death. Here's how death works. Uh, we'll reset back to our last checkpoint, uh, and we basically are kind of doing a corpse run now. Where I dropped money. Oh, so those things will be flying around yeah, where you died? Yeah, they'll, they'll be flying where, around where I died. So I can go try to recover them. And if you die again... Then that's probably bad. Yeah. All right. So we got our gold. We're good. We can move Great. on. Uh, yeah, I, I just think it, it's uh, this game is, is lively. Yeah. Oh, that's the uh, the thing you got. Yep. Uh, and and I've been uh, enjoying it. I think it's it's pretty cool. Is it out now? Uh, it is out now. Yeah. Fantastic. How much so, is it? You know, that's a great question. 
Since it's not on the store yet, I don't actually... Huh. It's not on Steam just yet, so I, I couldn't look, but uh, that information is probably available somewhere. I I'll see, see if I, I can see you some, reaching for your phone. Some Google Foo. Ew. Great music. Okay. I'm seeing 15 on Steam. That makes sense. That makes uh, that makes a lot of sense. That's a that seems like a solid price uh, for what seems like a solid game. Yeah. Uh, they put uh, they put eShop games for 15. Is that a? Uh... Yeah, I, I bet it's uh, I bet it's the same price okay. on Nintendo platforms. I would not be surprised. Uh, but I don't know for sure. Uh, yeah, so that that's Shovel Knight. It's pretty rad. Cool. I think if uh, you are the sort of person that is interested in kind of the classics to some extent, uh, this is a, a game that's evocative of those old games without necessarily leaning on them too heavily. Uh, it, it, it's its own thing. And I think that's, uh, that's probably one of my favorite things about it. Uh, so yeah. Thanks, Drew, and that's, uh, that's Shovel Knight.